Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message. All right, so let's see. All right, Aries, what's going on for you in love? All right, the three of wands. Okay, so you could be manifesting, all right? Or you're just waiting for something to turn over for you. You could have put some prayers, affirmations, visualization, spells out there. You're just waiting for, um, you know, successful completion of this project uh, of manifesting new love. Also, some of you could be just waiting for maybe communication from your love. You could be doing this long distance dating here, like somebody's far away from you. Um, and you're waiting for communication from them or you're waiting for them to come to you. What is this about here with the three of wands for Aries in terms of love? All right, let's see. What do you want to tell Aries? Uh, yeah, this person could have ghosted you or you ghosted them or there's maybe little communication right now with the hermit card. It's like this person is um, trying to discover something about themselves or they're in a place of maybe introspection. Um they're not really concerned about the connection or about a relationship. This is a real singular, um, single type attitude. They could even be shifting their personality or their perspective, maybe even their philosophy about relationship and maybe even themselves altogether. They could be in a pl place of learning too. Let's see, learning themselves. What's going on for, and this could be you, Aries. You like, I just don't want to deal with anybody because I need to figure me out. Yeah, the queen of swords. So, it could be you, it could be another person. Somebody could be shifting their philosophy about uh, relationships altogether and coming to determination that in order for them to um, have newness or have what it is they say they really want, they're going to have to cut out some relationship that is not offering or providing that newness. Or they're going to have to cut out people, places, things that are not serving the, uh, the end game, the end goal, the outcome. If you know that um, you want to be healthy, then you got to cut out smoking smoking cigarettes or, or whatever you smoke, right? If, you, if you're talking about being healthy, you know that that's not gonna get you to your end game. That's an example. So for some of you, you feel like you, you gotta cut something or somebody out in order to get uh, what you really want. You're really seeing that you cannot take this with you. You can't have it lagging onto you. You can't go and deal with it sometimes and then cut it off, but then say that you want newness. You can't seesaw and, you know, tither between the two you have to really decide to be firm make that executive decision because somebody else won't do it for you or this other person won't do it you know they'll allow you to stay as long as you stay yeah page of cups here um you, you can't be so dreamy about what it is you want and not be going after your dreams here because the page of cups talks about um having dreams and and being too dreamy um uh, being too of you know fanatical or be resting in a fantasy and not actually doing anything okay so it's like you're really going to get determined about having the life that you want getting the outcome that you say you deserve that you really want yeah the tower all of a sudden suddenly there could be upheaval um a breakdown a shake up but in the rubble you're going to see clearly okay that this shit was just shit so that's really good this i, I like this attitude for some of you that you're having here all right, last card for love, two cards, all right? So we got the seven of pentacles and the lovers here. So um, after the shakeup and the breakdown, you come to a place of you know, waiting, patience, uh, or participation, maybe even finishing something that you started, maybe a project, a project of yourself. Um, also, this is like a, a, a relationship comes to a standstill, a halt, no activity, or this is you having no activity, maybe with the opposite sex, the lovers, or whomever you're interested in. You're, you're having no acti activity with uh, romantic partners because you're trying to rebuild or reevaluate or restructure something here. Because the in end game is getting the perfect person, your soulmate, your life partner, um, someone who you're meant to meet here because this typically has the, uh, the angel that brings these two people together. But it's like you have to get back into alignment first before you just run out there and meet somebody. Because in the lovers, the woman with the feminine energy is generally looking at the uh, the clouds or the 
the angel. So she's tied to some level of spirituality and the man is looking at the woman. So it's like, before you get out there, you have to have something to bring to the table in terms of, um, inspiration, spirituality internally, not just money or your looks or your, your big booty or your, whatever it is you, you have to lure, uh, the man in because he's looking at the woman. He's look, he's typically looking at the woman's body. But you have to be tied to spirituality, to something bigger than you, because you're eventually going to pull him into um, what you're you're tied to. So it's like that's it's almost like when you hear people say most time you'll hear it's and it's an old saying, you know, men will say something like this about a woman. She's my saving grace. Well, you can only be that if you have something to give in terms of grace, in terms of um in terms of substance, you know, and if you don't have any of that, it's just more so physical. And that is what the man is about. You know, he's about the physical and, and if that's all you have to offer, then you're one in a million, excuse me, not one in a million. You're, you know, you're the same. So you want to be one in a million. And it looks like you're going to do that. You're going to take this time to really focus on you, kind of hone in to you and why, you know, you didn't get the outcome that you were expecting here or, you're just really going to do the work, the self-analysis, the introspective work, maybe take a passive approach to love so that you can heal also, and then get back out there and find the perfect person for you. And you're going to have so much to offer this relationship. All right. So uh, let's see what's going on for you in career and finance. Oh, we're at six minutes. Okay. Career and finance career and finance because there's a lot of women out here you know I'm not coming down on my women but there's a lot of women out here who really don't have anything to offer outside of their body and this is somebody who when the the relationship is divine and divinely orchestrated and you have done the work and the self-healing and so forth and so on you have so much to offer to a relationship than just your body or your money or whatever it is or your fame um you have so much to offer and and that man will see that there's something different within you that um the god factor uh rest in you whatever your god is whoever you believe in you know so it's about you getting tied to spirituality i wish i had the other deck so I can show you what the lovers really look like. I mean, I know you know what it looks like. But it's nothing like a visual, right? So let's see if I can find it really quickly. The, the readings are supposed to be short, but it looks like this one's going to be long. Um, hang on one second, guys. I think I'm almost there. Um, I just, I love the lovers card. And I can talk about it so for such a long time and so much in that card. Um, speaking of which, you could uh, attend tarot classes with me. The tarot classes are linked below. If you wanna learn the tarot, if you have your own deck and you'd like to pull cards for yourself or loved ones, all right, there we are. Okay, so it's the kind of 3D ones, but if you can see her her head is lifted towards the, the heavens, um, the angel, and he's looking at her. So it's like, and, and this is the order. This is the divine order. He brings them together. The angel brings, or divinity brings these two people together because he knows that there's going to be a level of attractiveness physically to this woman from the man to the woman or the masculine energy to the feminine energy because it can be same sex. Um, but she has a lot more to offer. She understands the nature of this relationship before he does because she's connected to spirituality and divinity, okay? And if you're not connected to anything, then what are you looking at? If you're that woman who's not connected to any type of spirituality, spirituality or religion or practice, or you don't have any type of, I don't know, uh, pious, or, you're, or if you're not chaste at all, or, or I don't know, you know, if you don't have anything of, of substance to offer, then it's just sex, okay? That's why sometimes readers can read this as just sex, okay? Um, anyhow, uh, let's see, career and finance for my Aries, career and finance for my Aries, career and finance for my Aries, two of pentacles, so you're making it work, you're making, you know, um, could be transferring money, uh, doing two different things to earn money, to earn income, it seems stressful, but you've got into this rhythm of it, you understand that if you continue this, you're going to show up 
with stability you know you're going to have stability in the four of pentacles wow i said that the four of pentacles dropped out so it's like you're just really trying to get your money back up you know if you continuously um you know have a good work ethic because the twos talk about work ethic every single day doing something every single day um if you continuously do that you're going to be in the four of pentacles and you're going to have stability let me read that uh you have stability there the cameras always mess me up okay uh let me just shift that just a bit okay yeah still can't kind of read it all right there we are you're going to have stability like the camera it's going to stabilize um you're going to get to a place of you know having money saved some of you could be saving for a large purchase you have the six of cups you want to get back to simpler times a better place because that's what the six of cups talks about a past time also maybe in the past you had more money you had a lot to give um, also, the four of pentacles could talk about real estate also. Um, so maybe you're saving for that. Maybe to make some changes there because the two of pentacles talks about change. So it looks like in career and finance, you're going to get to a place of um, having enough money coming in, going out. Things will be balanced. There won't be an imbalance here. Okay. Um, career and finance for my Aries. Some of you are sharing your gifts with people also. Yeah, whatever you're doing, you're going to get some good news about money, a large sum of money, page of wands here, or making this large purchase, three of pentacles, whatever it is you are doing, you're in the right career field, business, because your hand is blessed uh, by the divine, the masculine, feminine, that's what you need, and then you need the divinity to hold it all together to uh, bless your product or your service or whatever it is you give. It says you'll get recognition from your higher up or you'll get recognition from the community or people who patronize you. You'll even get more people patronizing you because again, um, you're giving a high, high quality service or product here. Um, in career finance, follow your dreams, okay? Don't get too bogged down in just the dreams, but put more energy, time, effort behind it with the page of cups showing up. OK, so this is what I have for you, Aries. I hope that it resonates for you. I hope that you took something from the reading. Let me know what you took from the reading down in the comment section. That would be great. Go over to the website book of reading there. If you feel like you need one, um, ask just a question or two by texting your question to the number below. Um, you can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday night. If you subscribe to the channel and then click that notification bell, you'll be notified of the live. You can come for the collective reading and ask questions. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.